Factoring, 144m squared take away 48mn plus 4n squared. Scary stuff. All right, so the question is, is it a perfect square trinomial or not? And um, I believe it is, but we also have a common factor. So we have to deal with the common factor. So we're doing perfect square trinomials with common factors. So what goes into 144 into 48 and into 4? Why 4 does. So we're going to... Okay, if it is a perfect square trinomial, it follows the first plus last all squared pattern gives, giving us first squared plus 2 times first plus last squared. Okay, these are the properties. You know that. So we're looking for, like, to get the first term, I'm going to first factor out the common factor. So we all agree that that's 4. So we're going to factor out the 4, and then we're left with uh, 36m squared take away 12mn plus n squared. Now, if we take the square root of 36, we end up with 6. If we squ take the square root of 1, uh, we get 1, and we take the sign of whatever the middle is. Okay. So then, we're just going to test to see if 2 times the first times the last is negative 12. Okay. 6 times negative 1 is negative 6 times 2 is negative 12. So 2 times the first times the last gives us our middle term. So now we know it's a perfect square trinomial. Okay, And since it is a perfect square trinomial, uh, all you have to do is take the square root of the first term, take the square root of the last term, and remember that the sign in the middle is going to be the same as the sign in the middle up here. Okay, So sign of middle term is sign of the middle term up here. Okay. And that's it. So let's try that one out. So what is common? We said 4 was common. Inside, we're left with 36m squared. So let's take the square root of that. That's going to be 6m. Um, that's minus, so minus. And then the square root. When we take away the 4, we're left with n squared. The square root of n squared is just n. OK, all to the power of 2. Yay. Let's do this one quickly. So, uh, no common factor here, but square, square, the square root of that is just r. So r plus 5. Now let's just test. 2 times r times 5 is 10r. Whoops, I forgot the s. So 2 times r times 5s is 10rs, and there you go. That's the middle term. So we know that it is a perfect square trinomial. All right, here we have 36, 108, and 81. 9 goes into all these things. So if we factor out the 9, we're left with 4n to the power of 2, um, plus 12np, um, plus 9p to the power of 2. OK, is this a perfect square trinomial? Um, looks like it. If we take the square root of that, we get 2. We take the square root of well, 2n. We take the square root of the last term, we get 3p. 2 times 3 times 2 again is, in fact, 12np. So that does work. Okay, so it is a perfect square trinomial. All right, so we take the square root, and that gives us 2n. And we take the square root of the last term, which is going to be 3p. and then square the whole thing. All right, we have time for one more. What's the common factor between 36, 60, and 25? I don't think there is one. This is 6 times 6. That's 5 times 5. So it's just a straightforward PST, perfect square trinomial. So 6r plus 5s, all to the power of 2. OK, and that's it. Have a good night.